Uh, my name is uh, Chun Chen, and I'm a PhD student on the supervision of Dr. Chun Jian. And here we are at our environmental lab. The lab is located at 12th floor of EV building in downtown. And the research of our lab is mainly focused on the oil spill response and remediation. Uh, I started my uh, research related to the oil spill response and remediation. Is, uh, and at first, I have no idea about the spill. And at first, so my doctor, my supervisor, Dr. Nian, tell me uh, just to do a letter to Will in this topic. I, I, I did a comprehensive letter to Will about uh, the surface washing agent and also uh, the state of art effort on the oil removals and also for the toxic issue related to the uh, surface washing agent. I want to give a brief uh, background introduction about oil spill. And oil spill normally is uh, occurred on the ocean and um, it will not only affect the marine life and also uh, the residual water, the floating oils can be carried by the wind, wave, or current to the shore environment, and uh, it will have a loss of a series of physical, chemical, and biological process, and we call it weathering. I have some sample here, and this is uh, the lab, this one is the weathered oil, and this is, is unweathered. So that means we can see that the weathered oils have much higher viscosity. So if it's attached to the solid surface of the shoreline, it will be much, much harder to be uh, removed. So we have to use some active cleanup technical. And the surface washing agent is one of their methods. The main components of surface washing agent are, are the solvent and the fixant. So we want to develop some new green and environmental friendly material which can be used for uh, the surface washing agent. So we use a nano cellar. It's a biodegradable and sustainable and also it's low cost. We can uh, we can see everywhere in the world. So it's the plants, uh, there's all the raw material for the nano cellars. Uh, in our study, we use nano cellars to disperse the nano cellars into the water. And we want to see whether the nano fluid can be uh, efficient for the oil shine treatment. For my project, I'm investiga investigating uh, the potential use of nanocellars as a surface washing agent for oil shine treatment. And this is our nanocellars. We all know that the cellars is the most evident organic compound in the world and forming the main structure components of their plants. The nanocellars is a cellar in nanosphere and we, we can manufacture this material uh, by physical, chemical, or biological methods. And for our study, we use cellular nanocrystal. We use a sulfuric acid to hydrolyze a cellular to into the, a smaller size particle in the nanoscale. And the nanoscale will give the cellular a special ability to change the interfacial capability between the oil and the water. Like we want to see whether this special ability can be used for the, as a surface washing agent for the oil shoreline treatment. Here's the uh, samples for uh, the oil stand. And we can see that this is uh, the stand before the washing, and this is stand after washing. We are not only want to the agent is effective, also we want to have the low toxicity. So we also conducted the toxicity test on the green algae. And our preliminary testing results show that nanocellars will not cause any additional toxicity on the green algae but also uh, have potential to mitigate uh, the toxicity of oil. I'm trying to uh, develop the novel green surface washing agent uh, to effectively uh, clean up the shoreline affected by the oil spill, and that's what we are doing. Uh, therefore, we hope to develop the, the low cost and also the low toxicity agent which can be used for the oil shine treatment. We have two types of testing methods. And the first one, at the preliminary stage, we use a small wipe to see whether the oil sand can be washed and use uh, the shaker to simulate uh, the wave and uh, the current in the shoreline environment. And for the next stage, we, we have uh, other, we also want to use this smart tank. It's special design for our test. It's used for the shoreline simulation. 
for this time, we have the program to control. Uh, we have the pipe to let the water into the tank. The tide will increase and decrease control. It will be controlled by the program. We will place some sand or graph in the tank and increase or decrease the water tide and to simulate the natural tide in the shore and to see uh, the effects of the surface washing agent and also to learn about the nature degradation and weathering process uh, of the cloud oils or other type of oils on the shoreline environment. These two are two tanks. Uh, they are programming tanks and we can use the tank to control uh, the shaking speed and the temperatures, the uh, humidity. So uh, we can use this these two tanks to simulate uh, the environment on shoreline and to see uh, how the environmental condition affects surface washing agent efficiencies or some other effects. And this is our bench, uh, nothing special. <laughs> this is the UV visible factor photometers. So we can use this to measure how, ma how many oils relative on the sand surface. This, we use this equipment to quantify the amount of oils and to see how much oil can be washed uh, by our surface washing agent. And uh, this is the tension meter. Uh, it can be used for measure the interfacial tension between oil and water or other or uh, any other two different bases, like the oil waters. If uh, this liquid, one liquid has a lower uh, interfacial tension between the oils, and it, it, the oil can be more easier to be removed. I mean, the, for my own project, I use um, the nanocellular space, uh, the surface wash agent for uh, the oil shine treatment. And I think this method um, is a provide a one more option for the environmental friendly and economical methods for uh, the oil shine treatment. And I think my research uh, will and the applications uh, of the nanocellars on their organic food and treatment. And my work can also accelerate uh, the commercialization of the nanocellar production. I want to study uh, the combining effects of uh, the nanocellars and the surfactants. And I think it has a high potential to be used in the food and cosmetic industry because it has it's a low toxicity. It uh, does not have any toxicity issues on the humans or animals. I think that's my advancement of my thesis. <laughs>